What you up to? Figuring out why our engine doesn't work. Or our outboard engine doesn't work. That's right. Guess what happened? We just got to the Exumas. We're sailing our way south, snorkeling around. Max even gets some dinner for us with our snare. Really starting settling into this whole Exuma life until this morning when our outboard stopped working. We were heading to the Norman's Key shipwreck and the outboard stopped working. So Right now, we're trying to figure out what the problem is. Luckily, uh, when it stopped working, uh, the tide was coming in, so the current was such that it was pushing us on the beach. And then we just walked our dinghy uh, all the way to closest to our boat, where we then snorkeled to the boat. But it doesn't look too good right now, guys. Hopefully, we can get this fixed and we don't need to go to Nassau to get some parts. But anyways, at the end of the day, there's worse places to have uh, any problems happen to us, right? It's pretty gorgeous out here. Always with a cup of Earl Grey. Well, I'm making some pancakes to lift our moods up a little bit. So yesterday when we were at McDuff's we met a guy who lives here or who works here uh, and he's a mechanic and uh, I just texted him and like hey if you happen to have any spark plugs uh, he just called me and be, he was like yeah I'll be there in 10 minutes and now we're paddling to shore to go see our friend Patty Look at these are dirty but they should work right? You can get them on top and clean them because I don't really have any like this but I'll, I'll put them on the brush Yeah. yeah. Well, at least the view is amazing. Patty thinks the spark plugs are fine, so don't know what else it could be. I forgot to take my sunscreen. I'm gonna sit in the shade. I guess this is all part of the fun. This is all part of the cruising journey. One minute we think we're going to Norman's K to see the plane wreck. The other our engine stopped and we have to row to shore. <laughs> We're waiting for Patty the Batty. Is that the name of the boxer? Yeah. Patty the Batty as he goes uh, to clean up our spark plugs and while we wait in the shade. I made a little clear patch. It was all looking like this and I cleaned it up. I'm like those birds in David Attenborough that clean up to attract their mate. The six-plumed bird of paradise is cleaning his display ground. He obsessively tidies every fallen leaf. His stage must be meticulously tidy for what will be an incredible performance. Do you feel attracted to me now? Are you attracted by my clean station? Yeah. So we are heading back to Nassau today to pick up the parts for our outboard and we're gonna come back here and pick up where we left off. So we'll take you along today as we head to Nassau together and uh, cross the Yellow Bank again. Again. All right, let's go get this ready. How many hours? Uh, 5.25. Oh, that's fine. We can get there and head back instantly.
way back to Nassau and I was getting hungry. So what do you do when you're hungry? You make some food, but what's what can you make that's quick and easy? Baked beans, baby. Is that lazy or... Home style. Convenience. Perfect amount of seasoning. Cooked to perfection. Old Iron Jenny's back on. Just because uh, we want to make it to the shop before it closes today so that we can get our part and get the hell out of Nassau ASAP. Max is at the front of the boat uh, letting me know when to dodge the coral heads and where they are. Big one there. Woo. Made it to Nassau. And we're reading reviews of where we are. Listen to this one. This is the worst spot in the Bahamas. The jet skis and their operators are degenerates. So blah, 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 they, they, they sprayed a bunch of people in a dinghy and they sprayed water in my hatches. I am now at war with these idiots. I have a floating line with a ball and I'm turfing it off the side of the boat every time one of those idiots comes near my boat. <laughs> Hopefully it closed lines or the floating line gets sucked up their intake. Yes, it is bad here. Oh my like, that's God. That's funny, you get arrested for that. That's literally like... Salty. Anyways, back uh, back in Nassau, back in the city, back in the land of uh, sirens. We just anchored, we're giving it an hour just to make sure that we're holding properly. Our anchor alarm is on. Back on the boat. We picked up uh, the spare, spare f***ing, what are they called? Spark, oh, my brain is fired. Spark plugs, carburetor clean kit. I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning. We got a Hawaiian sling because you can't use spear guns here, which sucks. But I guess it makes it more fun, more of a more of a thrill. I got the Hawaiian sling. I didn't get the pole spear. I don't know if that's a bad idea. I mean, the two different things. Everyone thinks of the same thing. Every time I write on Google, Hawaiian sling, pole spear comes up. So we're gonna try it out. We'll see if it works. You know, just go back to fishing with a rod and reel. If not. Go and tell them how much you hate me. Yeah, we fought a bit today, didn't we? High stress. You you know, if you don't fight, you're not a couple. If you're not getting shouted at as a guy, you're not doing something right. And if you're not, if you're not with someone who's completely useless sometimes, you're not with in a relationship. Yeah, uh, you're really in a relationship if your boyfriend isn't just completely useless. Good morning. We are waking up to Nassau. Actually, yesterday was a beautiful night and Max is on it already, working on the outboard. You need a little lens wipe, don't you, actually? Okay. Ah, that's better. It starts. Yeah, it starts, but that means the spark plugs work. Okay, well that's the first win because before uh, our engine wasn't even turning on when we pulled the this whatever it's called. It's not over yet. I think it works. Oh my gosh! Can you get out of here. Let's go. I am done. Let's go back to the Exumas. We're gonna lift up the anchor and then lift the main. So straight in the wind. You wanna, you're the on the on the wheel, so you're gonna keep it straight in the wind. Okay. And we're gonna get the hell out of here. Bye, Nassau. Hopefully, we won't see you again soon. <laughs> Well, we're cruising. We're going about 4.5 knots right now. Not very fast, but very tranquil. And we probably won't get there before eight. So we'll have to anchor up in the yellow banks because I'm not sailing in the night here with all these coral heads. So both of us are starting to get hangry. It's breakfast time, I'm gonna make some banana pancakes and it's Valentine's day today. So we might as well celebrate. I always do a tester, tester pancake. Ooh! Yep, good pancake.
you. Wow. Yummy. You like it? Love it. Healthy pancakes. We're going five knots, five point four. Slow, just steady. I think we'll probably anchor before we get there. Yeah. Somewhere out in the ocean. Can we wash? <laughs> a lovely sail so far just been really slow and that's fine it's really nice it's super relaxing gonna get there by five something isn't it which is fine we'll see and the water is just absolutely stunning I'm really loving this sail how about you yeah it's lunch time but I'm still full from the pancakes you're hungry I'll wait until fish. Are you gonna catch some big fish with your new Hawaiian sling, babe? You gotta get in there. So you guys tell me, what's your best uh, passage food? Mine's the uh, chicken sandwich. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Mm. Yeah. That's oh, delicious. Here's the spot. Time for the little update here. It's uh, 5 p.m. and we can see land. Woohoo! And we can see our the anchorage where it all began. This whole saga, this whole whole outboard saga. So we're going a bit south of that actually, and uh, I think we're gonna have to anchor in the middle of this before nightfall because I am we're not getting close to land uh, without being able to see the coral heads so I think we're gonna anchor soon we're at low tide now so we've anchored anchored out here in the middle of nowhere are we crazy you can see that land all the way out there it's so uh, we're uh, we're sitting out here in the in the wild I wanted to jump in, see if I get a night dive in, but too much of a scaredy cat. Um, but anyway, so we're just chilling. <laughs> but yeah, see you later. Good morning. How are you doing today? You have to go forward a little bit. What? You have to go forward a little bit. Old Iron Jenny is running as we are now lifting up the anchor to head to Hawksville. I'm going forward. I'm just gonna put you down while I maneuver here. Seems like we're arriving at the land and sea park. It's beautiful, no hunting, no fishing, no... I think you can't even scuba dive without a license here. It looks stunning, untouched, pristine beauty. And apparently there's some stunning, stunning coral reefs here. And I'm looking forward to maybe seeing some turtles or swimming with some rays. I gotta make sure the GoPro is charged for that, so we're gonna do that. Just finished the day, man is making some milkshakes, banana milkshakes with no blender. What are your tips to do that? Whisking the banana. She's just whisking the banana. But yeah, we're settled down. Beautiful sunset tonight. We're in the park, the land and sea park, and happy to be back from Nassau. Hopefully, we won't need to go back again. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, see you guys in the next video. Really appreciate all of you. What are we gonna call them? Our pelicani pelican gang, pelicans. Thank you, my pelicans. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>